Greetings, Chris here. I wanna to talk today about a social media platform that has kind of been somewhat of a sleeping giant and hasn't really come into my view uh, in like even the last four or five years. I'm talking about Pinterest. Pinterest, believe it or not, is actually growing and currently boasts around 250 million users a month. 34% of Americans aged 18 to 39 use Pinterest. It is used by high income and educated households and 90% of those users actually use Pinterest to make a decision about a purchase. 55% of Pinterest users are there looking specifically for products and Pinterest users spend a full 29% more time shopping than users of other social networks. So what have we got? We've got women who love shopping. We've got high income users. We have people planning their lives, people on there making a decision to buy, looking for products. This is a buyer's social media platform. That applies to you, especially if you're out to try and sell products, digital products or merch, or if you're drop shipping, this is a buyer's platform, okay? Facebook and Instagram, it's just people browsing and looking at stuff. This is people who are like, I wanna buy something for my house, for my hobby. They're already in that buying mentality. So that's exactly where you wanna be. Before I get into talking about this really cool tool that is gonna help you out, whether you're really into Pinterest already or you're thinking about getting on there and taking advantage of these numbers, please smash that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. Now hopefully you're already going and you're creating content and you're engaging with your audience like I talk about in my free training and you might be thinking, oh that's taking up all of my time, I don't think I have time to start figuring out another platform and positioning myself on there. Well luckily this Saturday in two days, a second version of a really cool product called Pinflux is coming out. Now this is the top tool for automation of Pinterest. You can schedule post to post all through the week or all through the month. It automatically curates content, pins, repins. That basically means that you can spend 15, 20 minutes on a Sunday to set up your scheduling for the week that is gonna curate and pull content from Pinterest in the hashtags to do with your niche. This is naturally going to lead to your account becoming a massive producer of content, which is the number one thing you need to be. In addition to that, they have this follow unfollow feature, which usually I don't recommend subscribing to. It generally doesn't work, but because this is sort of an all-in-one tool that is also producing massive amounts of content, when you follow someone and then they see who you are and they look at your Pinterest and they see, wow, this person is producing all the stuff that I into and they're doing it daily and regularly, um, they're gonna follow you for a legit reason rather than just because you followed them. The way most people do it is they follow someone and they just hope to get followed back but when people go and see their profile, they're like, oh, this person has one pin. I'm not gonna follow them. Why? Now, I've actually got my hands on a demo of Pinflux 2 that I'm gonna jump into right now if you wanna check it out. So this is the Pinflex tutorial and overview. So what it does essentially is help you build uh, high converting multiple Pinterest accounts as you can see here. So for internet marketers who are running multiple accounts or advertising agencies, um, this is also a great bit of software. In the pin menu here, it allows you to find images automatically and pin them to Pinterest boards. Here, it allows you to upload images from your own computer. It allows you to repin pins that already exist uh, on Pinterest that already exist, again, based on keyword search. You can also follow and unfollow boards that already exist on Pinterest and keep track of those. And with follow user and unfollow, that as well allows you, like I said before, to follow users based again on keywords. So you're targeting those users in your niche, not just random people. So that keeps your follow to unfollow ratio uh, looking good. That's great for your social proof. You can also, in the next tab, you have group boards, which you can search for in different categories that you can then apply to be a part of. 
And then you have the report tab where it just um, tracks your activity and displays reports. And the final one is your error tab where if any issues occur, that will show what the error is. Um, and that's really helpful if you have to go to their support and um, generally they, they will ask you for something like that so they can get that problem solved for you. So you start off basically by adding an account. You can also enter a proxy, which some people like to use, especially if they have a lot of accounts at the same time running. So on the left here, you can see there are two demo accounts that are uh, uploaded and ready to go. And when you select an account, uh, the boards that are associated with that account, as you can see, are displayed there in the... You can manage boards as well by clicking on this manage boards button and that allows you also to import boards into the Pimflux um, program. Uh, you can also, from Pimflux, also create. Now, if you wanna pin boards uh, from Pinterest, you would start off going to the pin tab there and then going into settings and inputting your keywords and then going to add keywords. So here you, you can see we have floral design as the um, demo niche that we've chosen. And you, but you can search several keywords if you like. Now this part is really cool because in the description you can also um, say what it's about and you can put your link into that description as well, linking back to your website. Now if you're pumping out content at scale and your link is in every one, that is a lot of links going back to your website, which is great for SEO, okay? Those are backlinks from a, uh, a real uh, social media platform. Now at the top here, you can select to automatically pin these pins to your board, and you can even choose a schedule, like a minimum gap there between uh, how often pins are pinned, so it it's not completely obvious that you're just curating. So here we've set it up where it's uh, between one and two days. Also, if you go to the search results tab, it will bring up all of the pins that Pinterest has found from the keywords that we inputted there in the settings. And you can choose to pin them to your boards right now, or you can go to add queue. Now, you can go straight down this list and quickly start adding to queue, you know, pretty much everything that it's produced, set on a timer so that this is just gonna pump out all this content onto your Pinterest. And if you go to this tab, pending pins, it'll show you exactly when these pins are going out. And if you want, you can even go through this list and just review, make sure the stuff that is going out is stuff you want to be going out. If you want to upload the images, you go to set it, uh, the upload tab and then settings and just simply click on that browse button and upload whatever you have. And they're able to be uploaded um, together. Again, you upload it and just add your description and your link and it works pretty much the same as the curated pins. And again, you just set the times as well. And they'll show up in your search results as well and you can choose to pin them now or like with the curated ones, add them to your queue. The repin, uh, works similarly, you go into settings, you browse your keywords as well, and you can choose your minimum gap between when those go out and they'll show up in your search results as well, which you can also, which you can also choose to pin immediately or to also add to your queue. So for repins, once you put in your settings, you can then search Pinterest for those related keyword terms and you can go ahead and just repin them as you see fit. Repin a couple now or just add them to your queue. And again, you can see the pending images coming out that are going to be repinned. Following boards works in the same way. You enter your keywords, you set your time limit and then you select, um, you save it. Pinterest will find keyword related boards, which you can follow now, or also add to your queue of to follow. Again, you can look at your pending boards that you're going to follow, 
and if you want to review those, decide if uh, they're all things that you want to do or they're all boards that you want to follow. In this tab, there's also a growth tab which shows you uh, your follower growth. You can also schedule an unfollow strategy which allows you to auto unfollow. It allows you to choose who to unfollow in the sense that you can unfollow boards if pins are less than a certain amount on that board or if followers are less than a certain amount. So for example, if you choose someone with a million followers and you're hoping to get them to follow you back, it's probably not a good idea because they won't see that you followed them. But smaller boards who will notice that you following them uh, and they're likely to check you out as well, I would, uh, I would think about that and maybe go within the ballpark of say, I mean, it would take a lot of experimentation. I would probably start off on 100 and then test out 50 and 200. Um, just numbers where people are going to notice if you followed or not, because that is the purpose. You want them to notice so that they go and check you out. Now, the same thing applies for users. You search for certain keywords and then... Um, you know, multiple keywords again, and go set your timing of how often you want to follow. Pinflux will then find users, which is crazy, who you can then choose to follow now or add to a queue. And this one, you can see the rate at which it's set is between uh, every 20 minutes and an hour. So for following, you want it to be a bit shorter. With group boards, you can filter them by category and uh, here they're coming up really, really quick. Shows you all the related group boards which you can click on and apply to. Now, this is a basic run through that I'm giving you here. If you want more information, there's the help tab down here that has a lot of uh, stored frequently asked questions and things like that. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a super useful tool that you can just leave running on its own. Tools like this are really cool because I always recommend getting on as many platforms as you can. Admittedly, some social media channels fare better with automation software than others. Uh, others just kind of come across as spammy and it's obvious. With Pinterest, it's not like that. Pinterest is a lot like Twitter where it's just so common to be a curator of content. And it's just expected that people are producing more content and sharing content a lot more. So automating this sort of social media platform really goes under the radar and it actually looks like you're legitimately doing it by yourself, which you kind of are. Now, if you wanna check out Pimflux yourself, I do have the hookup for you on early bird prices and specials. If you use the links in the description, you'll be taken to the Pimflux page where you can get those early bird price links that you should buy through. If you buy now, there is also free training that's offered by the makers of Pinflux, which is gonna be invaluable. Training straight from the horse's mouth is always a great idea. It also comes with your usual satisfaction guarantees as well as a full 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're already on Pinterest and you're looking for more automation or if you're gonna get on Pinterest after seeing this video, now you can check it out completely risk-free. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Ta -da.